this is Marion's furnace and AC looking to possibly replace both uh, a few a few things that we need to we need to do uh, I don't think the furnace is going to be an 80,000 BTU based on the age of the home and what, what we think the square footage is but if it is we need to put it up on a base can uh, get some more airflow underneath it replace the gas shut off replace the flex redo all this with a drip leg as you can see the condensation for some reason has been done pex and copper fittings or brass fittings uh, it's not going to work because that, that water is going to eat right through it so we'll do all this in pvc make it look good tie everything together into one pipe so we have one pipe coming to the floor drain which is on the other side in front of the water heaters electrical I want to move up if we can because it's sitting pretty pretty low. Let's make it easier for somebody to be able to turn it off if they need to. Uh, fresh air combustion is above the water heater. And we have our exhaust flue. A big, big old three inch pipe. Uh, we can do it in two. It doesn't need to be three. Um, at least coming, coming directly out of the furnace and we can tie into a three inch. Uh, that's not a problem. Uh, if we do the Air conditioning as well. Line set looks pretty good. Flush it out, pressurize it, make sure there's no pinholes. There is a, a union right here. Um, so we'll make sure everything's still good. I also want to tape up all these little holes. This looks like it was anchored to this and no longer is, so we can either restrap it. That thing is not going anywhere because the gas line is pushing against it. Um, but we got a hole up here. Hole here, hole here, and that's all I can sit. Hole here, so quite a few of them that just don't need to be there. We'll tape them up, make sure there's no loss of air, and everything else will be JP's cake.